Hello, welcome to Board Games with Neuromas. I think we are live on YouTube. We'll see here if it's up and running. And it's obvious. <laughs> Okay, so I had my own ads there. So let's see if everything is up and running. I think it should be. We do have some people here, so just tell me in the comment section or in the in the live chat if there's any issue with the sound or anything like that. I think we have sound. Huh. That's weird. I don't. I don't get any sound when I'm trying to listen to the stream. I don't, I'm not sure why. Oh, hey Bjorn. Okay, so there's the sound. Okay, so we're up and running. We are going to play Robinson Crusoe: Adventures on the Cursed Island, and uh, yeah, it's going to be in solo mode. Draco is going to hold the box and just you know morally support me from over there. Now I am going to do the setup on camera, wasn't really planning for that, but time dragged out here and so all of a sudden it was time to live stream. But then again, by doing that we can discuss the, uh, the sort of, we can discuss the uh, scenario choosing here together and the character and all that. So what we start off with here is just, you know, getting the board out here. I think the setup is fairly quick in this game, if I recall correctly. It's been a while since I played it. Which is also the reason I wanted to play it, because, you know, it's fun and get into this uh, whole adventure again. And let's see here, we got the... I got these scenarios here. And... Okay, the sound is on, that's good. So we have the Family Robinson, I played that one, I know that. Cannibal Island, I don't think I played Cannibal Island. Uh, I haven't played Volcano Island, uh, I'm sure of that. Jenny needs help. Bjorn, you said that was an annoying scenario. <laughs> Let's not do that. The King Kong, haven't played that either, but I've seen it played. So and that's the first one and Cursed Island played those. I think it's between Volcano Island or Cannibal Island, really. That's the ones I feel are most in mostly interesting. And I think, if I recall correctly, I think I should be using two characters for the solo game. And I know that you can use the dog and so on if you want to. And Friday, but I don't think we're going to do that. Have some promos here as well. Haven't tried that. Herb Garden. I don't know. Some promo promo tiles. I'm not going to get into those today. <laughs> so let's just stick with the normal game here. We're going to have some cards. So what do you say? Um, have any of you in the chat played any of these? Volcano Island or Cannibal Island? And do you remember if they were fun and so on? Uh, in the end I will let you guys decide. Bjorn is saying Volcano. Okay. We're gonna have all these tokens out here of course. I'm gonna mix these up. Uh, Volcano Island seems fun. Um, I, we get to use the volcano tile, like the back of the starting tile, basically. And I don't think I ever used that, so that could be fun. So there's those. We have the tokens here on the side. We don't need the first play token, I don't think so. We're playing... Oh, you're done, Cannibal? Was it good, or...? Here we have these. The dog and Friday. I don't know if we're gonna use those. Do we, are we supposed to get the dog into play when we are playing two players? I think it's like, I think it depends on how hard you want to make it really. Because the dog does help out a bit. Here we have the decks. And if you're watching this, you know, afterwards, the recording, you can just fast forward to the start of the gameplay. Uh, if you want to. I think that's the card. Yeah, here's the uh, building card. You have the treasure cards here. Oh, all of these are treasure cards, okay. Yeah, well, you, you losing is something I'm prepared for in this game. 
I'm sort of setting my mind, you know, to I'm probably lose. Okay, so let's take these, put them on the side here. And for if you for some reason are interested in the setup, this is a good way to see how it works as well. Just put these on the side here. We have the treasure cards. Uh, let's remove that. And we have, okay, so Volcano Island. I think it might have some setup changes, yeah. Okay, we'll go through those later on. Let's start with these, these cards down here. Just give it a little shuffle here. And of course, I am live streaming because it's fun, but I'm also live streaming to celebrate the Kickstarter campaign for Bullions with Niramas that is funded and have two stretch goals unlocked. So even if you back it on a small pledge level, you'll still get the stretch gold, which is a um, ticket to a giveaway, huge giveaway that we're going to have after Essence Spiel in November when I come home from Germany, from the largest fair of board gaming in the world, in Essen in Germany, it's called Essence Spiel. And everybody who backed the Kickstarter will get a ticket so you can win some cool new games and promos that have just been released by them. I don't even know what it's going to be because, you know, they haven't released the list yet for what's to come. So. It's hard to promise anything, but I know that it's going to be a bunch of cool games. So let's see. I think these are supposed to be separated. Hmm. Let's hold on that. I think. Well, this kind of looks like uh, Bjorn actually, the uh, cook here. Um, so, <laughs> and let's get that guy. And let's get the let's get the soldier here as well. Let's do the. Female soldier. I love how they, you know, you can do uh, gender swaps there. Sides. Then we have the dice. We just put them out here. And so you have the uh, dice in different colors, of course. We need to move the map up a little bit. Draco, can you? There we go. Oh, we have the green. It's so nice. This game and the components are so nice. I, it's been a while since I played this, so I kind of forgot about all the cool stuff in it. So that's the tokens in place. Now let's see the setup here for this scenario. It says that we should have start with a knife and a shovel. Okay. So we put these items out here. So we start with the shovel and the knife. And well, you actually don't do that, actually do this because we do have them. And then the question is, should we, hmm. Do you do the standard setup except for this? Huh. You start on tile number 10 in the space marked with an X. Oh yeah, yeah, we start there on, okay. We take the tiles. Here's the uh, banana fish and all that, all the banana items, but well, it's actually bread and bananas and so on. Uh, really nice, these components in the uh, in the second edition or like the fourth edition or whatever I have. I really love those components. So let's figure this out. We're going to have the tile number 10. It's this one. It's supposed to be, what, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, it's supposed to be there. Then we look for the volcano tile that's supposed to be there. Come on board. Uh, so that's the start. Then the other tiles, we just shuffle those face down. So we have a draw pile of these. Mm, there we go. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to figure out if, what we should do here in the setup. Uh, and so on. Uh, hmm, I think. Yeah, I would, I, I would like to play the expansion. Um, that would be really cool. I haven't picked that up, the new expansion. That would have been cool. 
Um, I, I was close to picking it up, but then I, you know, I didn't do it. But I get some board. <laughs> I have to go through this because I don't remember the scenario. Yeah. So you do the scenario thingy. You get characters. You get the invention cards. You gather nine default. And then you draw the top five and place them. Okay. Yeah, sorry, but I have to go through this. Um, so we take these that have the little arrow symbols. Those are like the default ones they should be in. Um, so let's put these out here. Uh, I think we've sort them by sort of the terrain type they have, like that. And then we're supposed to take five more of these like advanced ones or whatever. Oh, here's the animals as well. <laughs> so these are, that's the one for, hmm, is that for two players? No, it's for more players, I think. Let's remove that. Wow, it's chaos out here. That's the beauty of uh, live streaming. You don't need to be so uh, stressed out about this. I think we should get one of these items as well, maybe two later on. Here's the animals, let's shuffle those up. And you know what, let's throw in the uh, promo animals that I have here as well. Because I haven't played with those. I have a bunch of promo promo stuff here. I don't really even remember when I picked this up, but I've got some bunch of animals here. So let's shuffle those in. Um, yeah, this game should hit the table more often. I mean, this is something I would like to play a lot more often. It's so good. So uh, we put those to the side. They don't go in here yet. They might end up there when we find some animals. So let's put those to the side. And then we have from these. Okay, from these we're gonna shuffle in five, five random items that we can build. Or it's like plants. We have plants for items and then we can build them later on. Let's draw from the bottom. So we have the shield, the belts, the bed. Oh, the bed is good. I remember that one. And that's when you go here. You will heal more. When you go to the healing slot, you will heal more. Um, and you'll also get a determination. And the pit. Okay. And finally, the sling. Okay, so that's just for you know, uh, attacking. So I think that's the all the items. That's the five items that we're supposed to have. Hmm. Hmm. So, okay, so that's done. Then, uh, should we have these? Should we have Friday or the dog? I have to check it because I don't remember. Should you have Friday or the dog when you play two, like a solo game? Let's see, solo. Is there a solo? Uh, two player solo variant. Okay, I'm gonna check that up. Because that, it's been a while, it's been a while. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, so solo. Uh, yeah, okay, we also have the dog alongside Friday. Oh, we have both the dog and the Friday then. Yeah, 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 okay, so we only have one character. And then we have, okay, so that's it. Okay, so let's, let's just do the cook then. Let's see if that works out. And then we will have both uh, Friday and the dog. And only one character. Um, what about these items? Should we have item cards? What are they called? Starting equipment cards. Hmm. Can we find them here somewhere? There, 11. Draw two at random. Okay, so we get two at random. So here's two at random. So the storm glass, roll the weather die as specified by the scenario before the action phase, but resolve the outcome during the weather phase. Okay, so it's basically we get to know what kind of weather it's going to be. And the pistol gives us temporarily plus three attack. So that's two good items. And we will put these little uh, uh, discs on them. It used to be cubes, but these days it's uh, these discs that they have instead. I think those are better. They're kind of big, but yeah, there was really fiddly with those little cubes earlier on. So we're going to put these on these items here. So we have two uses of the pistol. And we have two uses of the storm glass. I 
Stormglass, I don't think it's that good, but we can plan a bit. Then we're going to have the tokens here. So here is the uh, dog with a little sticker on it. And where's Friday? Uh, is it that one maybe? Let's see. Yeah, here's Friday as well. And then let's say that we are the orange player. Why not? So here we have our player tokens. And let's see, what else is there? We should have a token for the, uh, what's it called? The um, scenario here, we have these eight rounds to do the scenario. And let's actually look through this a bit. So we are, you are treasure hunters trying to explore ancient temples in the deep jungle. You will be exploring this volcanic, uh, volcanic island in search of new places to sack. Um, ba -ba -bum. Escape with as many treasures as you can before the volcano destroys everything. Did we mention that your jolly boat is gone? Yes, you will also need to build a new one if you want to leave the island alive. So, okay, so we need to build a boat and we need to uh, escape from the volcano island. Goal of the scenario, according to the table, you must explore a certain number of tiles. Then you must build the jolly boat. So since we are... Hmm, I don't know if is this count like two players then because it only says two three or four players i think we're gonna play like two players then makes sense um so okay so then it is six number of players so we should we have to explore six tiles okay and we have to take the explore action on a certain number of totem icons oh that's complicated. We have to do the explore action on three that has to totem. Like the one we start with has to totem. It has to be three different, I assume. Yeah, three. I guess three different totem tiles that we have to take the explore action. Uh, how do we track that? Huh. I don't know. Down, I don't understand this. Down here we have number tokens are not automatically placed on island tiles with the totem symbol. Oh, what? Small temple. Take an explore action to draw three mystery cards. Resolve all these types. Special rule you must draw and resolve all three cards. Okay, so if I understand this correctly, when we reveal these uh, totem tiles, we will place a number token on them. One, two, three, and four. And then we need to, since we're two players sort of, we need to do the explore action on three of these. Besides exploring six tiles. Wow. Okay, sorry, this was a bit, this was a bit complicated. We wrap my mind around. So yeah, basically we're going to explore like crazy, I guess. Volcanic Ash. So if we get that symbol on an event card, we put a white disc on two different island space tiles. Um, these are ash markers. Oh. Ash markers on island space counts as minus one worker, so it's going to be harder to to do things, to like do actions on the island uh, because of those t uh, tiles, really. I'm just going to check so that, uh, let's see, so uh, um, here we go, yeah. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm a bit confused over the scenario <laughs> because like... So we're trying to escape, but why do we need to explore? Is it we're looking for treasure or maybe new places to sack? Yeah. Okay. So we did the setup changes. Uh, volcano is inaccessible. Obviously we can't go there. And there's these four. We just go through them when we find those, those tiles. Special rules. Put a minus worker on the explore action. It stays there until the end of the game. What? Are you kidding me? So the, the scenario is about exploring, but for the whole game we will have this on the explore deck, which means it's going to take, it's going to be harder for us to explore, so it's making it harder already. Okay, um, treat fur as wood while building shelter, roof or palisade. Okay, so fur, oh yeah, remember this, fur is considered to be as wood, <laughs> okay. From the fourth round on, lava from the volcano makes some tiles inaccessible. The tiles are destroyed following the sequence shown on the map above. The beginning of the appropriate round before the event phase, turn any tile on the depicted space face down. If your camp is on such a tile, you all die. Or... <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so, okay, it's, it, it's gonna be tough. So basically, uh, okay, so in round, yeah, before the event in round five, these two places are going to be flooded with lava, and then sixes, and then seven, and then eight. And we have eight turns to do this. Uh, there's not that much of a weather though. The only weather it's gonna get is this uh, rain die basically. Could have a little bit of snow as well, but we're not really here to build a shelter and all that, you know, like you do normally in the game. That's not the main focus. We're going to explore like crazy and try to get off this island. But how do we build the actual boat? Oh, here it is, jolly boat. Okay, so it takes, we need to have rope to do it and three wood. Oh, that's pretty easy. That wasn't too tough, okay. We can also make a rope ladder for, uh, if we have rope, we can make it for free. And then the green guy can, oh, then we can get the green guy in. The green guy helps us explore, which obviously makes sense in this scenario. And then the green guy will, uh, it's be a, it will be a green guy that only works for the totems, okay. So we get a rope ladder, basically. It's easier for us to climb into these temples and search for treasures. Kind of Indiana Jones style this. I mean, if you look at the, the setup here, okay. So we're getting close to being able to start playing. Uh, I'll put this on the side. We don't need to see that all the time. I like that included a player aid with this edition as well, because you know, my memory, uh, it's been a while since I played the game. I'm gonna put this token on the round tracker, start on round number one. So the only thing we haven't figured out now, or I haven't figured out, um, is this card. And I guess that's in the rule book. I'm just gonna check the rule book. So make sure that I, I get that right. It's in the setup, it is. Let's see, where are those cards? They are, bum, 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 bum. Event cards, number one. Um, no, 15. So, sort them into two piles. Yeah, we sort them into piles. So, yeah, yeah we have eight rounds, so we draw four from each pile, and that makes sense, okay. We have these in two variations. That's the one with the book, which is then the volcanic ash will happen. If we get the other one, we will get, um, what's it called? Uh, it's like the, um, yeah, they have like this one, it puts the gray thimble on there. So it's, it's more annoying to gather. So we shuffle this up. We just draw four here randomly. Why do I have a, what is this? Oh, it's the starting card for if you're playing the first scenario. Wow, should we have that now as well? I think we should. This is something that I know that I was really confused on in the first edition. I had the first edition, but solely because it was so confusing with the rules. But I think you always start with the food crates. So we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna put that food crate there on the event space and then we'll draw event cards and that will push them out eventually. Eventually by the events. Okay, so we'll draw four more from the other type of cards. And then we just take these eight, shuffle them up good. And then we have the setup done, I think. And yeah, I'm just, do we start with any food or anything? Uh, I think we do, I think we get like the, okay, so we put these over at the event spot. We should have a marker for the um, morale track. And I think that starts in the middle. We start at zero morale basically over there. Uh, we have the event card, the map is done, the items are done. We start with the shovel and the knife, which is good. And we need to get the rope made as soon as possible because that is important for us. We also start on a river space. So that means that we cover up the demand for river. Where is it here? Uh, there and there. So we can make the map, which is good. The map gives us an explorer. So that should be a priority. Making the map should be a priority and getting the rope, but to get the rope, we need to find some hills first. That's how it works. I do remember some things <laughs> of this game. I played it quite a lot, but it was a few a few years ago, to be honest, when I played it a lot. So I think that's everything set up. And the question is now, do we get anything to start with? Um, the first round, you don't do the event. Then we have the morale phase, we do the production phase. Yeah, and in the production phase, we, we have our camp, by the way. Where's our camp token? This this little, there it is. 
we have like a little, I think we have the X. So we sort of start off here. And that means that we are going to get a uh, wood and a fish. Uh, there is no fish though, so that's banana fish, that's bananas. <laughs> We're gonna get that in the production. So nothing happens here in the event. Nothing happens in the morale because we're at zero in the production. We get a wood and a banana. And yeah, it even says here, parrot, banana and fish, banana. Okay. So we get a wood and that, and that goes into the, uh, I think that goes into the direct. I think we have access to that. Then if we pick up stuff during the game round, during the action phase, then whatever we get there, it's not active at once. It goes into the sort of future uh, tile. And then we have to sort of, yeah. And then it moves. So next round we will have access to that. It's like people are out gathering food, but it's not in the camp yet. Okay. So I think it's time for the action phase. And we have basically four actions. Uh, the dog can help us search or fight. Friday should have a little marker for his life, by the way. Uh, Friday has three life and wait, didn't we have like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have these little, so many things here in the box as well. I don't even remember what everything is for, but we do have, we do have these uh, life markers. So we have some life here and Friday as well. I don't think the dog has any life markers. He's just around. I don't think he can die. And Friday doesn't need to eat, of course. We have our pistol. Okay, what do we do first? What do we do first? Should we just... So since it's only us, since we only have one character, I don't think I ever played like this before. I think I always played with two characters. This is going to be interesting. I think what we do first is... I mean, we have food for this round. We don't really need that much wood, to be honest. Um, we need to get the rope. We need to explore. So I guess we just, you know, explore like crazy. Now there is an issue though, because of this little thingy here, exploring next to our camp is gonna cost us two pawns and then we still have to roll the die. So that's terrible. <laughs> but then again, I guess we just have to explore anyhow. Uh, that, that's what the scenario is about. We could go and grab the food crates. Uh, the problem is with the food crates is that like if we go there we're gonna have get one food with one pawn and that's gonna just go waste because we ha already have food or we could you know if we get two pawns we get the bread which is th that can stay around for a while that's like uh, lasting food but the problem is no it's not worth going with two guys I think we're just gonna ignore the food crates actually nothing happens if we ignore it so so then we start off with the exploration. I'm gonna grab the dog and go out here. And then with the other one, let's have, have Friday help out and we go out here. So it's just double exploration right off the bat. I think that's what we should be going for. So we've done that, we've done the so action phase planning and then we will re resolve the actions in order so we will start off, uh, nothing is happening except for exploring. But since the uh, this thing is here, that means that we have to roll the dice even though we have two pawns. We could have three pawns and then we don't have to roll the die. But I won't really want to make that map actually. We could have just made the map actually. Huh. Maybe that's what we should be doing. Okay, okay, I'm gonna take back... Wait, there's some rules about Friday. It's like, can he do? I don't think he can do stuff on his own. Um, ah, Friday, Friday, Friday. There's something about Friday. I don't think he can go and do things on his own. Uh, I think he has to. I mean, the dog can't do it, at least. I know that the dog can't go and build something because, you know, it's a dog. Uh, so, how do we find that easily? Friday. Hmm. There must be some, there must be some part here about Friday, right? Oh, here's the scenarios. Oh, I haven't seen this before. Okay, so here we can check the volcanic island. That's nice. We have to explore a specific number of island tiles and special locations. Um, when we have resolved all that, we need to build a jolly boat to escape. 
the camp token is placed on 10 camp side up okay so we actually have a camp already that's good and uh, we ignore those tiles on it so we, that's not one of these three um token thingies temple thingies we need to find Oh, start with the shovel and the knife. Why doesn't it say, it doesn't say all that on the scenario card. That's weird. They should have said all this on the scenario card, but anyway. So, mm, yeah, the pelt is like wood, so if we go hunting, that's good. No, actions can be sold on the volcano, obviously. Starting around for the island tiles or unexplored spaces become, yeah, this lava. Hmm. Yeah. So I've paid white markers. Pay the number tokens. Huh. Yeah, okay. So that that's basically it. Let's let's just find Friday in here. Here, Friday. Uh he can never be the, uh, he can never be the first player. Um, hmm. He can be assigned to any action. Ah, okay. Friday can be assigned to an action as the only action pawn or together with the dog. Okay, cool. So Friday can do stuff on its own. That's that's really good to know. Uh, that would really help us out actually. Because then we could send, instead of having that ex double explore, we could do a single explore and then we could build two things. I'm, I'm, I really want to build two things here. So we are going to build uh, the uh, Friday. We'll go and build the um, dam together with the wood that we have, and I will go and build the map. Yeah, that's a good thing because it happens in order. So I mean, we build first. So if I get that map, I guess then we will have that green pawn for the exploration, which means the exploration will be three. No, no, no. He, he, I guess we it's for later. Yeah, yeah, he goes up into, yeah, we don't have him right away, okay. So, first of all, let's build. So, Friday is trying to build a dam to get some food, lasting food. That's why I really wanted this, because if we get this, we have food for three rounds in total. We don't need to worry about food for a while. Uh, that could be really good. But we need to roll the dice and see how it goes for, uh, you know, Friday. Uh, speaking of which, rolling dice, you know what, I'm going to grab my dice tower here. Because I have it, so why not use it? So, bad preparation, as usual. Well, not as usual. I'm usually more prepared than I am today, but... <laughs> so, my really, um, yeah, boring dice tower. Just a black tower, basically. But it's padded, so it doesn't make so much sound. So, that's a damage. That's a... Okay. So we got the, uh, this is like a success. So, you know, he, he made it, he made the dam, but he did hurt himself while building it. That's the one damage taken. So Friday takes uh, one damage here on his uh, card. He has three life. There we go. And now that we have the dam, we're gonna flip this over. The wood is uh, used. And he comes home and we flip this over and we actually get those two bread meat loaves as well whatever it's maybe it's just you know it's just bread probably uh that sort of lasts because i don't know you know we can eat it even if it's old then i'm going to try to make the map so come on this is really important there come on so we get oh i failed wow ah <sighs> but i get two determination from that also, nothing else. Okay, so I get two determination, but I did fail, which is terrible because it's like a wasted action. You don't really have that many actions in this, this game. You can't waste actions like that, but hey, that's how it goes. So I get two, and I send some to cook because I'm trying to uh, impersonate, uh, you know, Bjorn here from the chat. He's, uh, uh, he's the cook guy. Uh, so since I'm role-playing as him, um, I don't have any ability to like help me out when I build stuff. That's the carpenter. My special ability here though with these two is I could discard two to heal two damage by eating one food. I could discard two of these determination 
to re-roll any gray dice if I go and try to, you know, gather uh, stuff, which I might do later on, I don't know. Uh, I could discard three to just get one food. Or I could discard three to change, sort of, stop one of the bad weather things. Which is kind of weird that the cook can do that, but anyhow. So I have those two. Um, by the way, I should have the fireplace. Just realized that. I should have the fireplace out as my special item. So is it in here? There it is. So, and if I build this, I also get two determinations. So I can build the fireplace. It only takes having fire. And then one food can be used to heal two wounds in the night phase. That could be really good. Probably try to do that then later on. I don't know. I mean, this is all about just exploring and getting out of here. So I don't think we have time to really do all that building up stuff that you do in the other scenarios. But okay. So we did the buildings while well, this failed. So we don't have the map, which is sad. I will try to do that next round again, I think, because that would be so helpful to get that green pawn. It's like an extra explorer thingy. And now we go through exploration and we need to roll the dice to see how that exploration went. So wish me luck. Here we go. It's a question. Okay, we will have to resolve an adventure card and nothing. And it's a success at least. <laughs> okay, so it is a success. We did explore. So I think we do that first. I don't know if that matters. Yeah, I think we'll do that first. So we'll draw a tile. And we got a river, which is kind of bad because we already had the river. I'd rather have seen some other thingy there. But what's nice here is that we get, well, one animal comes out. So we put one animal card on the animal space. So now we can hunt if we want to. Um, this will be producing one, or we can gather one fish here, one food basically, banana fish. But we also get three of these tokens, which is really good. So that's good news at least. So let's get three of these tokens. And we have, what's this? Tawny bushes. I like that they added, the old one was just like an icon. Now we actually have a name for it. So this is like, we can use this to increase our palisades by one. That could be good if there's like animals, hunt, you know, wild animals coming. Now we're not really gonna be camping in this scenario, but anyhow, so we got that. Well, we didn't get it yet, but. That's two food, wow. That's in, mm, did we get that right away? I think so. And we also got the old machete, which will increase our uh, attack value by one. So our attack value is over there. So we, now we have, uh, I guess we start on one. Now we have two in attack value. We can use the pistol to get better attack. Uh, so those are gone. We do get two bananas as well. Up there. These are just going to be wasted though because we can't eat them, which is a bit sad. And that was it. That was the whole first uh, turn, the whole round basically. So we go to round number two. Nothing really happens because, yeah, the volcano hasn't started spraying out lava yet. <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be so hard. But okay, so we have a new round. Well, so we have the night phase and we have the camp. There's no weather happening though. Now we have to pay some. Um, yeah, now we have to pay the sort of food that comes down here. We do that, which means we get one palisade level as well. Not that I think we need that, but then we're going to eat all the bananas because they can't stay around. They get rotten. And we do have the two bread there. That's good to have for later. So that was the night phase, I think. Yeah. Hmm. So we are going to round number two. We are going to, let's see, uh, we're going to do the event phase now. So we're going to draw the first, the top card of the event deck. And we'll see what it is. And it is, no, 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 no. I almost forgot. We were go, supposed to go on an adventure here when we did the exploration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's let's go back and do that. So we should, we have to do this. So, um, okay, this is just, sometimes you want to do this. So you just want to read the top card, but this doesn't matter. 
You have found a skeleton in the jungle. It's holding a pistol. Keep this card. You can use it once. It temporarily gives you plus three attack. Discard after use. Wow. We found like one of the very, very few positive cards that are in these decks. We found one of those. So temporarily, temporarily we could get three attack. And we do have the pistol. So we could get like six attack. Ooh. So maybe we should just go hunting then. But then again, what should, what should we be hunting for? We don't need food. We don't really need the stuff to build a camp because it's not even raining yet. So I don't. Yeah, we'll save that. We might use that later on. But now we're in the new round. Let's look at the event card, and it says predators. No food sources anymore. Predators have their prey. And now we have to put the green thing in here, which means that the next time we do an exploration, we have to go and draw an adventure card, even if we, you know, even if we ro uh, don't roll and so on. The closest fish or parrot, camp first, is exhausted. Oh no. Camp first. So our fish are gone, but we do have some food. If there is no... Uh, yeah, okay, then we would have taken the damage. Then we can fight these. We have to have two, pawn, two of our guys and two attack strength. And then we get to uncover that and discard this card and get a determination. The problem is that I don't really want to spend time on this. I want to spend time on, and it's going to go in here, on going here with two pawns of our four pawns, or like workers. Uh, so I don't think we're going to care about that, to be honest. I think we're just going to keep moving basically instead. So I think we're going to explore and so on again. So now we go to the morale phase. Uh, nothing happens in the morale phase because we haven't adjusted the morale in any way. And in the production, now we will not get that food, but we will we'll get some wood. Oh, it's kind of terrible to lose. Oh, I wish we could have just kept, you know, getting one food and kept the, the bread, the lasting food for later. But that's not going to happen now, obviously. So let's see. Let's have the dog and one of the uh, pawns here representing basically half of our day go out here. And explore and I do want to make that map I want to make the map that is so important we can't even explore now using these because like normally if we go one step away from our camp that's uh, using one pawn you have to roll and so on now it is two you have to roll because of that minus so we I go going two spaces away you need two so we, we can't do this because we need three here <laughs> we actually need to move the camp. That's the thing. We need to move the camp during the night. Which is also a reason why there's no point in really building a roof and all that. Because we need to move around, I think, every night from now. So instead, I think we should go and build... Yeah, we should build a map. Do we want to... Oh, we could hunt. That's the thing. But I don't really know if we're gonna hunt. The problem is, if we hunt, we might get a bunch of meat, food or food, banana meat, and that's just gonna be wasted because we can't. We have no way of storing it. Um, what we should do in that case is we should build like the fireplace first, because then we can use a food every night to at least heal some, so we can heal up Friday and so on. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. We are going to make the map. So we go two pawns over there to make the map for sure. Or we could have one go there. And then Friday could go and... Yeah, we could go and rest. I don't know. Or you could clean up the camp. Get two determination. Raise the morale. Yeah, okay, let's do, let's do it like this. I'll go clean up the camp. Friday goes and builds the map. Hopefully. So that's it. That's the placement. Now we do the um, action. So we start off with building and we're going to see if Friday can build the map. Come on, Friday, you can do this. And he, yeah, he, we're going to draw an adventure card and nothing happens and he wins or wins. But yeah, he makes it. So we did get that uh, map. That's so important because now we have one of these green pawns that can help us out with exploration later on. Uh, also, we do have to Friday uh, roll the um, symbol there. So we have to, let's see, we're going to have the map built like this. 
And we have to draw one of these adventure cards. Let's see what that is. End of source. Cover the source you are gathering from with... Oh. No, I'm stupid. It's not the gray. <laughs> it's the brown. He was building. Come on. Here we go. In a hurry. Okay, we're going to do this. You get careless in your haste. Decide. Discard this card or draw two... What is that? What symbol is that? Two... Shuffle... Okay, yeah, it's it's the tokens. So we can draw two tokens, but if we do, we have to shuffle this into the event deck and something bad will happen later. I'm not going to show you. So, of course, we're going to do that. So let's shuffle this in here. And I think the best would be to sleeve these with like the same back so that you don't see when it's coming. There we go. So it's somewhere in here. We get two of these. That's nice. First one is something we can keep and save and we can get rid of some rain later on. And this is if we have the pot, we get to heal twice. We don't have the pot yet. We might build that later on. That's a good item. Okay, so that was it for the building. That went very well. Now we're going to do the exploration. So let's roll the exploration die. And no matter what, we still have to go on a... On a well, we have to draw an adventure card. It's not going on an adventure. I don't know why I keep saying that. So let's see. The, yeah, we're gonna have to do that anyway. And it's a success, that's important. And we do take one damage. And so we take one damage down here on the life meter. And then we have to draw a card, but we, it was a success. So once again, I'm not really sure in which order you should do this. I'm gonna do the exploration first and then we'll see what happens. So these go home and we draw the top tile and it is a field and that's two more of those wow that's nice and a new animal as well so we'll put a new animal card here and then we will get two of these tiles and that's when we have the poison the pot will give us two strength and when we have and this is herb so when we have the pot it will give us one morale so we have three tiles that says we should be building the pot so i guess we will try to do that um we can't do it yet though, but now the grassland are, are uh, explored, so that's requirement is gone. So like the bed, the medicine, and the rope can now be built, and we definitely want to build the rope, all right? So, so that's good. Some items there that we can use now, or like we can build them. And then we go into this deck here and check out whatever happens on our exploration. Something happened, and it is a swamp. Uh, put the minus one worker on the tile you're exploring. Okay. This doesn't sound good. Let's see if I can find one. Here it is. So we put it on the tile. Um, if the exploration wasn't successful. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So if we want to gather from this now, if we want to gather wood over there, then that's going to cost us an extra worker. But I don't think we're going to do that anyway in this scenario. So I don't think that mattered really. But yeah, okay. So that's it for the exploration. Now, finally, I am going to clean up the camp. I'll get two determination from that. And we also raise the morale one step. So now I get one determination every round because the morale is one step up there. So that is it for the action phase. Let's head over to the night phase. Now we can move the camp if we want to. I think we do want that. I think we're going to move the camp up here actually so that we can get some fish later on. And each player, uh, we have to pay a food saddle. We have to take one of these. And then we, you see, since we have a shelter, we don't take any damage. So that's good. Well, shelter. Yeah, we have the camp. It counts as a shelter, right? Yeah, it does. And then we are going to keep the bread. And all of this moves down here, but we don't need to use these yet. We might use them later on if we build the proper item and all that. I'm going to save those as far as I know. So then we go into the third. The third round. And we're going to start off with the events. So we have a new event coming. It is... Oh, that's the next <laughs> card there. Uh, we know that. It's missed. Put in... What? Put a minus worker. This is terrible. 
This is just terrible. Come on, game. So we're gonna put one of these in the exploration space. We already have one since the scenario made it. So so now to explore, we need two more workers than usual. <laughs> That's like the worst uh, card we could have drawn, I think. Uh, and if we don't take care of this, then it's going to happen again. But wait, this one is just gonna be for the next time we do it. The, this one is like permanent because of the scenario. This is just gonna be one time and then it's gone. And there's, there might be a new one coming if we don't take care of this event. But we will take care of it. This is so important. But now it's going in here. which will push out the food crates. Nothing happens though. Because it's the food crates. And that's it. Okay. So that was the event. Now we go to the morale phase. Since we have one step up on the morale. We are going to get one determination. So I have a bunch now. Which means I can make food and all that stuff. That's pretty good. I don't think the cook is the perfect guy for this uh, scenario. We should obviously have had the explorer. But hey, I wanted to I wanted to be the cook. So then we go to the production phase and now we will only produce one fish from the tile that we are on. So we get that. And then we need to start doing actions. And I don't think hunting is that important in this scenario, which is kind of sad because we did find both the both the pistol and then another pistol. <laughs> we have both of these. Uh, thing is here that helps us hunt or fight, but I don't think we need to do that that much in this scenario, but Yeah, so I think let's see Yeah, we should explore and obviously we are going to use this green pawn now that can tag along So I'm going to explore but re remember we need like three pawns now to explore uh, for the first time So we're going to put in three pawns over here, which is crazy um, then we can build something as well. I, we do want to build the rope. That's for sure. We could also, maybe we should also build... <sighs> the bed is pretty good, but we're moving around. We're not staying in one place having a bed. We could get the fire. No, we can't get the fire. We need to find mountains first. So... What do we do then? I'm confused. What are we supposed to do now? I mean, we only need three wood in the total game. That's crazy because, you know, compared to like the first scenario where you need all that wood. So I guess since we can't explore again, that's the thing. We can't explore. So that means that we might build a fire then. Because the fire will help us, then we can build a fireplace. Oh no, we can't build a fire because of the mountain, I keep forgetting. The rope, okay, so we're going to do the rope. So we're going to do it with two pawns? That seems so wasteful. I don't know. No, 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 we're gonna take care of the mist. Okay, so we'll have Friday go take care of the mist. And I'll go and make the rope. Okay, so that's it. And now we go to the resolvement of the action phase. So first of all, Friday will take care of the mist. It's just, you know, being there and it's done. And he will get the determination. And he can actually use determination uh, if he has two. He can reroll an action die once. So that's pretty good. So he has one there. And this is gone. Uh, which means we will not get that minus one token again. That would be so terrible. So <laughs> that's, that's done. And now we go to the building and I will try to make a rope then. So let's see if I can pull that off. And I didn't. That's a fail. It's terrible. And we have to look through. Okay, so I get two determination. That really, I have so much determination now. Wow, that's so terrible wasting actions. We have so few actions in this game, which is basically a work placement game. And all those actions are important. But let's see what happened when I tried to build that rope. And, uh, well, I failed. So, accident. Okay, that makes sense. Through carelessness, you cut your leg with the tool. It may get worse. Put an infection on your character's leg. Shuffle into the event deck. Okay. So we have to put one of these infection tokens on my leg. How could I cut myself trying to make a rope? How hard could that be? I don't know. So, we put this on the character here on the leg like that and then this goes shuffled in here which means that when it comes up later something bad is probably going to happen it's going to be infected or something like that we'll see by the way i hope that the sound is okay i hope that the picture and all that is okay tell me in the chat if there's any issue and i'll try to resolve it but 
looks like it's going fairly well here with the live show for once. <laughs> I, always, I always get unlucky when I do live streams, but there we go. That's it. Now it's time for the exploration. So we remove one of these because that's done now. And we have to roll and with three pawns and we still have to roll. That's crazy. So let's see how the exploration goes. Here we go. And we have... It's not a... It's a failure. Wow. And we have to look at the deck and we take damage. Wow, that's like three worst. We get two more determination. Not that I know what we're going to do with all this determination. That's, you know... Ugh. Well, we can heal, right? Yeah, we can heal. But then we need food. We can get food and we can heal, basically. So, okay. And then we need to look at one of these adventure cards for the green stack. And... Let's see what happens. Wrong track. You become lost and don't make it back to camp for the night. At the beginning of the next day, you return to the camp with some wood. Execute the night phase outside the camp. At the beginning of the next round, before the event phase, get two wood. So basically, yeah, we're going to get two wood, which is good. But we are going to take damage because we're not in the camp during the night. So that's what's going to happen. So we'll just take these back and we go to the night phase. We need to eat a food. We have the banana. We're going to take a damage because we're sleeping outside the camp. But we do get two wood in the next production phase, so let's just put them in there so we don't forget them. Uh, so that's, you know, well now we have the wood that we need. Uh, we could move camp, but we're not going to do that. We are going to get a banana fish. But now I'm getting ahead of myself because we should do the, we should do the event first. Okay, first event. We're moving into the fourth uh, round, which means at the start of the next round, lava is going to be flowing here we need to move because if we're in there when the lava comes we die so we need to move the camp <laughs> this is so hard okay so events fire late at night a fire started in the woods and we have to put this on the green which means we are going to draw cards later on during the production phase you get no wood well we didn't get wood anyway from the production phase wow does this inflip mm. does this affect the card that now this is the production from the space it's burning. I mean, the other wood we found when we were on the exploration, and that's why we stayed out all night. So thematically, it makes sense that that's not affected by this. We can extinguish the fire with a worker and a shovel. Then we discard this card and get a determination. Otherwise, during the production phase of this round, we get no wood later on. I don't care about wood. No problem at all. We don't need any more wood. So that's perfect. Weird, weird scenario this. I mean, most of the other scenarios I played, you need to like build a camp and protect against the weather and all that. This is different. But it's going to rain at the end of this um, night. So that could be an issue. We could remove a rain cloud though with the special token we have. And the cook can remove a rain cloud with three determination as well. So I'm not really worried about that at all. I don't think I will build any camp really in this scenario. So now we go into the morale phase where we pick up one more determination. I have a bunch now. Uh, yeah, you can see them on the camera. So many there. And we are ready to start the... Uh, we did the production out of turn, sort of, and now we do the action phase. So in the action phase, I think... Well, it's obvious. We need to move or we die. So this time we are going to go with... Um, let's see, we go like this. We go with three pawns to make a, a guaranteed successful exploration. We're not going to gamble this time. We are going to have to draw a card, though, because of this token, but... And then huh, we need to make that rope. That that's so important. Yeah. So we're going to have we're going to have two pawns for sure making that rope. We're not going to gamble this turn at all. We don't need to roll any dice this turn. So now we ex resolve everything, which means that we are going to uh, ex well we're going to build first. We are going to build successfully the rope. That means that now that we have the rope, now we can build these special thingies out here. Uh, we can build the uh, rope ladder, which will help us, and the jolly boat. And we have everything for the jolly boat, and then we win if we build that later on. But first we have to, you know, discover all these things. We have discovered two out of the six tiles that we need to discover. And we haven't found any totem symbols yet. So there's some, <laughs> we have some work to do. So, okay, now we're going to explore and we are going to be successful, which is awesome, uh, like that. So that means we draw the top 
tile and it is the mountains okay and still no totem symbols though so yeah but we're gonna get an animal i put the animal in here we are going to get one of these tokens and this is also a natural campsite which is nice and it's a fallen tree so we get some wood okay well i don't mind having more wood of course so then we put this up here and now we also have to draw a card when we do the exploration because of this uh, token here and this says there's something in the air the island is full of dangers something bad is going to happen Ugh. now we have to put this on here again and then we shuffle this in so something bad is going to happen uh, later on and we're going to have to draw cards later on again as well which is annoying and there we go and let's see so that's done now we go to the night phase we eat our banana and now we do have to roll for some possible rain uh, we don't take damage because we're in the camp we're actually going to move the camp as well over here so we can explore two spaces there we're going to have to roll for rain and it is one rain cloud uh but i don't think i mean for rain cloud it is uh we have to yeah, we have to compare it to our camp and if we are below we have to discard food and a wood but you know we're, we're just gonna make it easy for ourselves we're going to use this token to just remove that rain cloud for now so that's i think everything for the night right i haven't forgotten anything and now we go to the next round which is the fifth round and now before the event phase the volcano erupts and lava is floating out there and these tiles are destroyed just like that so uh we can't go back we just have to keep moving forward which we would like to go you know, we want to get to the coast build our boat and get out of here before the whole island is destroyed by the volcano so now we go to the event phase and we draw the top card here and it says searching for a new path um after hurricane oh and it's one of those book symbols so we have to do that we have to put white discs on two different island spaces and that's ash from the volcano it's like blocking so that uh ash markers on island spaces counts as my okay so we we only have two spaces so we put it there and put it here and that means that to gather from any of these it's an extra worker we're not going to gather anyhow so we don't need to care about that i guess but um and then also we have to put this y thingy in the explore action space which means that even if we do a, a good exploration we, we succeed we have to re-roll that die it's just so terrible and we get all these cards that hit the exploration why do we get those <laughs> and we can get rid of this with one worker uh, if we don't then we have to put all these symbols in there again and now that we put it in here now it's going to push out this card and this is going to happen which is resolve the effect of this card again which is we have to cover up a, a food source we don't have any food sources which means each player gets one wound since we get this wound we also going to lose some morale because we went over that marker so that's terrible and that's that's it that's how this game goes but i'm we're still alive at least and now let's see hmm so that's done we did the event now we do morale nothing happens you know we do production which means we get a wood from our space where we have a camp since by the way since we discovered the mountains now we can actually make the fire huh, yeah we can make the fire okay so uh, i think that's about it now i think we i think it's time to do the actions again and we are going to go for the safe route we're going to go three guys here to explore are we going to make the fire that's the question or maybe we should just ignore that hmm i think we're just gonna explore because at the beginning of the next round these two tiles will be gone <laughs> so we need to explore like crazy so i have two pawns going there so we just do exploration the first exploration will be successful this one let's do that first and that will get us a new tile 
And that's some grassland. That's good. And there's the to totem thingy as well. That's good. We need that. So we get... Well, we put one animal. Not a, I don't think we're ever going to have time to hunt. But we get two of these tokens. So we got this one. Which in this scenario, this means ignore the effect of a trap. Okay. So if we run into a trap. Yes. And this is the brown pawn. One time. That's really good. Because that can help us. If we build something, we will have one of these brown worker pawns. So that we can help out with the election. So that was the first tile. And now we do have one of those tokens there. We are going to place a number token on this base. If I can find the right one. We need to find a number one. Oh, come on. There it is. So this is the number one space basically and that means that we need to um, yeah this is some a place where we need to do an exploration action in order to sort of look for treasure on that tile uh, we need to do that three times to finish the scenario so that's our first chance we have explored four out of the six tiles that we need to explore so we're doing good in that sense we actually have our fifth going on here so let's check out how that goes we have to roll on this one though so let's see the dice tower here and we have that's okay we have to draw a card we have to do that anyway and a success and a blank and we have to re-roll the success because of this token remember so terrible there's so many things that messes you up in this game and it's still a success okay and now we have to draw a card from here as well but we did manage to explore which is so important because now we will get i will do i will put this card like this so i don't remember it we have to get a tile out and that's some um, grassland uh, by the way we did find the uh, the hills so we should mark it over here that we can do all the items now we have found all the different types of terrain in the game and here is some uh, banana parrots and some wood and we the token which means this is number two this is gonna go over here it's number two and we also get one of these uh, exploration tokens or whatever they are called I'm not really sure what these tokens are cold but they're always good at least and that is going to be a more wood okay so there we go and uh, we're doing pretty good I think uh, <laughs> in a sense now we go to uh, reading this card here I have to read that and it says storm on the horizon a storm is fast approaching the island shuffle into the event deck okay so nothing happens now but soon there will be an issue and we're going to draw these from the bottom actually uh, just realize that that you have to do that otherwise it's like you know what's coming so we're going to draw from the bottom next time we do an event and that's it for the exploration we go to the night phase we are going to move our camp down here because we will get both parrot and we're both food and wood here and now we can explore more tiles we only need to explore one more tile really find one of those uh, tokens again and then explore those as well so we're definitely going to do this this round we're going to explore on the tile as well and something fun is going to happen in the night we also need to eat and we didn't make any food now so we'll have to eat this bread that we have kept and let's see we also have to roll the we are in the shelter so it's no problem we have to roll the weather die though see if it's raining and it is actually snowing even so yeah we have yeah it's snow okay so we reach okay so we get rid of one wood and then we will lose another wood and we'll lose it we'll take a damage because we don't we don't have any food to lose that's pretty bad but that's it for the night phase now we go into the next round and now uh, all the tiles on sixes are going to be removed so this is going to be removed like that and this space is going to be inaccessible as well so we're just going to put a tile here so it's inaccessible because there's lava floating around all the way here uh, that doesn't matter really because we're not going to go back there um, so yeah we just need to explore here hopefully find the right thing and get off the island and now we go into the event phase where we draw a new card we're going to draw from the bottom and i can already see there's one of these brown cards so when we were in a hurry later, earlier on we now get a crack uh, and that means our palisade is gone but I, I don't really care about our palisade but anyhow that's what happened could have been bad if we were in another scenario where we needed a palisade to protect from wild animals and such then we draw a new card and it's a thunderstorm and we're going to put the gray marker on the gray deck don't care about that really either because we're not going to gather 
the closest uh, forest or like wood tile is covered up which is the one on our camp I don't care really <laughs> Then we're going to put it down here, and then this is pushed out, which means that we during the production we get no wood. Well, we wouldn't get any wood anyway because that was covered up, so yeah, uh, it doesn't matter in this scenario. Now we go into the production, we will make one food, which is so important, from that parrot, the banana parrot. And now we do our actions, and now I have a bunch of things I do want to make here. So, I think one of us... Or I think I think Friday Friday will go and try to make that rope ladder because then we will get it will make it easier for us to explore these tiles. Then we will make two explorations, and we're, both of them will be uh, sort of um, with the rolling of dice because one of them will be out here, and the other one will be on the actual tile here to explore that temple or whatever it is. We're trying to find some treasure. So first of all, we try to we go for the building. Friday is trying to build a rope ladder over here. So we're going to roll for the building. Let's see if he can make it. And that's a taking a damage. That's a taking a, have to draw a card. And that's a fail. But he does get two determination. Wow. Ah, uh, that's bad. Um. He failed. He only had one determination from earlier. If he had two, he could have re-rolled. But next time he can re-roll if that happens. But he also takes a damage, so he's almost dead. He has one more life. Wow, it's not going well. So that was trying to build a rope ladder that failed miserably. It's hard to say. We also draw a card. And construction. You take a break to strengthen the camp with vegetation. When it overgrows with grass, it will be even stronger. Shuffle into the event deck. Okay, so we got some grass around the camp. Something will happen later on. And there we go. Now we do the exploration. We have two explorations to do. We're going to do the one on the tile first. So just see if we can do that. And that's a drawing a card. That's a success, and that's a heart. Okay, so I'll take a damage, and I have to draw a card, but we did make it. Uh, and we're going to resolve this first before we do the card, I think. So first of all, we're going to look at the uh, scenario sheet here, and it says here that the first time we do this, take an explore, explore action to draw three mystery cards, resolve all types. Special rule, you must draw or solve all three cards. Okay, so we have to go into the mystery deck, which is like uh, treasures and all nasty stuff in here as well. And I'm just gonna shuffle this up a little bit. But then we have completed one of those three things, no matter what happens here, we have done one of those three that we needed to do. So all we need to do is explore two more tiles, basically, and, and build the boat as well. So we go three cards here. So we have Unleashed Beast. Uh, if possible, discard one beast card from the hunting deck. Oh, I don't care about that. Okay, so we did that. Then we have blankets. Oh, we found some blankets. Keep this card. Each use allows you to ignore one cloud during the weather phase. Oh, huh, nice. So we can, I mean, the items we have, we haven't really used those at all. Because, I mean, the pistol and all that. We don't really need that for this scenario. But this is pretty good. We can get rid of some clouds three times. So I think now we don't even need to worry about the weather at all. And then finally, we got a giant snake. Discard all your determination. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. Come on, game. Are you kidding me? All the determination? Wow. It's so much determination. I don't really needed it, but anyhow. That's just terrible. Okay, so that happened because we explored that uh, temple. But we did succeed, we did it, and now it's time to do the other exploration over here, see if we can find a new tile. But first, let's go through that mystery, or that adventure card that we looked, we got there. Vipers. Well, that's thematically right, because we just made the big snake. Um, you get bitten by a viper. Put a thingy on a character's head, and then shuffle this. Oh, we get bitten in the head, that doesn't sound too good. So, the head, we get a token for that. Now we need to shuffle this in. 
Uh, let's see here. I hope that sometimes it looks on it looks on my phone like the stream is frozen, so I get worried. But I think it's okay. So we shuffle that. Now let's see. We are going to do the new exploration. Okay. So we got the success and nothing else and the card. Okay. Uh, happy that we didn't take any damage at least. So successful here, which means we are going to, uh, this was successful as well. We're going to uh, explore, we're going to draw a new tile. This tile here is the grasslands and it doesn't have that token, that, that, the symbol that we need. So it's a new animal that we don't care about. And then it's three of these tokens that could help us out though. So we got some, what is this? This is when doing a special explore action, draw one fewer mystery card. Okay, that's good. That's actually good. And then we got uh, a goat that we can kill to get some fur and some food, but the goat, you can keep him. You don't need to kill him right away. And we got candles, so we have some help with building. So yeah, that's really good. I actually forgot that we had the builder from earlier on. We might have been able to use him for something. Yeah, we could have. Oh, we could have used him. So Friday would have made the rope ladder. Oh, that's stupid. Anyhow, that's done. We did the exploration. And now we go into the night phase. And we have to move camp, otherwise we die. Because <laughs> this tile will get... Wow. This tile will be destroyed by the lava. And we haven't explored this yet with the temple. So we just failed the game. Because there's no way for us... Because now, we, even if we move like down here, the camp... This would be destroyed. Yeah, well, terrible. Um, and now there's no way for us to explore all those temples. Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> that's it for the for the playthrough, because that makes it so that makes it impossible to finish the scenario. Because there's only one more space to explore. And even if we get a totem token there, a totem symbol, that's not enough. We need three spaces with totems. So the lava was overflowing here at the end. I mean, we only have one round to do this as well, because then, then we lose. Um, no, this space will still be there, the last round. Okay, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I do want to continue here. So, because we're playing solo, it says that you need to explore three places if you're two players. Let's say that we only need to explore two since we're playing solo, which means we can continue. And now we need to eat our uh, banana. Uh, we did move the camp, of course. And we're going to roll the weather die. It doesn't really matter, though, because... Well, we'll see. Uh, we got two clouds. Okay, we're just going to use two of our blankets to ignore those. So we don't care about weather in this scenario. Now we go into the new round. We're going to draw the new event card. We draw from the bottom. And it's going to be one of these green cards. Cursed Island. Ah, okay. Ah, so we have to, the only thing happening really was that we have to put the token here on the green stack. So once again, we have to draw no matter result there. Then we have a brown card. Uh, Gangerine. It's not healing. The character with the wound on the leg gets three damage or one damage if you have the cure. Three damage? That's terrible. I'm almost dead then. So one, two, three. That's two morale down. Yeah, I'm going to be dead anyhow. Okay. And then another green shows up. Fever. Uh, because of the bite, because we don't have the cure, um, we only have one action pawn available this round. Okay. Well, that's, that's not that bad. Uh, it is bad, but yeah, it could have been worse. Okay. So that's done. Finally, can we get an event card? Come on. Yeah, there's an event card. Okay, for rough, rough passage. Um, if possible, cover the hill. This doesn't matter at all. Uh, the creature terrain type is... Okay, so basically... This means that we haven't discovered the hills. We can't make the pot or bricks. We don't have that symbol yet. And as this goes in here, it pushes out this one, which means we put these tiles out again, but they're already, already there, so it doesn't matter, I think. So now we go to the morale phase. We're going to lose two determination, but we lost all the determination to that snake or whatever it was, which means we'll take two damage instead. 
because we don't have that. So morale goes down again. And I have one more health. <laughs> Friday has one more health, so it's not looking good. And then we go into the uh, production where we get one food. And now we do the action phase. And of course we have to explore. So we're going to send three guys exploring. So we definitely make it. And Friday is going to take one of these building pawns. And he's going to try and build. Wow, it's only one more round. Yeah, but if he builds the pot. No, now he can't build the pot because now it's like we haven't discovered hills anymore. Wow. That is terrible. Oh, okay. So yeah, he, he's gonna build a rope ladder because that will help us in the last round. So now he's going to build that. It's going to be a success because he brought the, uh, one of these brown pawns with him. So that means we have the rope ladder, which means we get one of these green uh, tokens that will help us when we do exploration on tiles. So that's gonna help us in the last round. Then we go do the explore, which is going to be a success, but we need to draw anyway. We need to draw a card. And so let's remove this. That says we have to draw a card, even if it was a success and let's explore. And if it's, there's no totem token here, then we lost the game, but there is, okay. So we get another animal. It doesn't matter, but we get another token. And this is number two then, and a token. And that is, what is this? Ignore one rain cloud, okay, <laughs> that's good. Okay, so now, yeah, okay, so we go to the night phase. In the night phase, we need to eat, we need to move our camp, and we um, get rain, but that doesn't matter, to be honest. It's the one cloud, so we just use this to remove the rain cloud. Or we could use the blankets, it doesn't matter. And now in the last round, there's a small, small chance that we can make it with a little tweak on the rules there. Uh, not having to discover three of these, just having to discover two. Because we go into the event phase, we draw an event card. Oh, come on. No, I'm actually going to die now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. We can draw an event card. But the thing is, we will have, because of the morale, I will have to lose three determination. I don't have any determination. Wow, I should have thought about that. I could have healed myself, maybe. <sighs> yeah. I mean, these were these items were so terribly bad for this scenario, like the pistol and the storm glass. If we would have gotten some, you know, something to heal us with instead, that could have helped. But we will. I'm. Yeah, the cook will die here at the beginning of the scenario. If he hadn't, well, at the beginning of the round, if he hadn't died, we would have done this. We would have done. Um, you know, basically everyone exploring. No, half of us exploring. No, there's no way to do it. Because even if we just explore this, then we still have to build a jolly boat. And it says that to you, let's see. Goal of the echo, you must explore. Then you must build a jolly boat. Which means that we can't do that in the same round because ex building happens before exploration. So yeah, time is up. The <laughs> the island is bursting into flames with the volcano and we are done for but i did have a lot of fun playing this to be honest i think this is so such a fun game i hope you enjoyed watching it and yeah i just i love playing this game i have to do it more often and so much fun stuff going on in this game i mean all the, the it's so different every time we play as well there's so many different things that can happen uh with all these cards it's so random i mean the the feeling of like you never know what's going to happen. We did have the wood, so we could have built that, that uh, <laughs> jolly boat and gotten out of here if we had gotten the chance, but there wasn't enough time for that. We were too slow basically, and now the volcano will, you know, take over the whole island and, and destroy it, which, you know, yeah, that's how it goes. So, sadly, no success here, but I did have fun playing, and don't forget that it's, it's only like, what is it like? There's not a lot of, there's just a few hours left on the Kickstarter for Board Games with Niramas 2019. If you haven't already, go become a backer, because if you become a backer, you will support the channel, but you will also get some fun rewards, and you will also get to take care, take 
what's it called take part in the stretch goals which means that you get a ticket to the huge giveaway that will be after Essen in November after I come home from Essen I will give away a bunch of fun games and promos so don't miss that even if you back on small pledges levels it's, it doesn't matter because you know you still get that ticket and and also you get if you're going to Essen you also get it you know an in, invite to come and join the the um, game night at Essence Beal. That's going to be really fun. So don't miss that. The link is in the description to the Kickstarter. Go check it out and have a great evening or morning. Whenever you're watching, take care. Bye bye.